let's discuss about PTE reading in this video. One of the most difficult section in PTE reading is fill in the blanks. So in this video, I'll be explaining some of the strategies to improve marks in fill in the blanks section of PTE reading. This video is quite different from my previous videos because in those videos, I have explained a lot of shortcuts to get good marks in speaking as well as writing. But in this video, unfortunately, there is no shortcut. You need to work really, really hard to get good marks in reading section. If you want to improve 5 to 6 marks in reading section, you can keep on taking the test again and again. But if you want to improve like 10 or 20 or more marks in reading section, you need to work really hard to do that. Because you can't improve your reading skills within 2 to 3 days. You need to work really really hard to improve your reading skills because reading is a time consuming process. It's an continuous learning process and you need to work continuously for the period of so many years to improve your reading skills. But in PTE, since you have only one or two months to improve, so you need to work really hard and you need to improve your reading in general. So first of all, how to improve reading in general? In order to improve reading, we need to read. Just try to read the newspapers, online academic articles and books and try to spend at least one hour of reading daily. As reading is an unconscious learning process, so you may be thinking that I'm wasting time by reading newspapers. I need to learn different sections of PTE instead of just wasting my time on reading newspaper. But technically you are wrong. Reading is an unconscious process and while re uh, reading you are learning a lot of things. You are learning grammar, you are learning vocabulary and you are learning how different sentences are formed unconsciously. So you not, might not be aware that you are learning something but technically you are learning a lot while spending your time on reading newspaper or books. Just avoid learning from social media because there are so many grammatical errors on social media. So take good books and good newspaper articles to improve your reading skills. Try to underline new words and write their meanings. And see the sentence formation that how sentences are formed and how similar words are used differently in different sentences and how the meaning of word changes with different type of sentences. More you read, more you learn. If you are reading again and again, technically you are improving your reading skills and this will help you in PTE reading, especially in fill in the blanks section. Don't just practice fill in the blanks online from any online source and think you are improving. Just practicing individual sections of PTE again and again will not improve your reading skills until and unless you are reading from newspapers. And next is try to maintain a PTE notebook. If you are an average student like me and require more marks in reading, just try to maintain a PTE notebook. In that particular notebook, try to paste the newspaper cuttings, your underlined words, you can write the meaning of words in that particular notebook and you can just note down some of the common collocations, you can note down some of the sentences and you can note down synonyms of different words in that particular notebook. So if you are an average student like me, you really really need to maintain a PTE notebook for reading. Next is this is how you can read from newspaper. This cutting I have taken from the Tribune Trends page and this is how you can read it and learn new words. So while fashion enthusiast, so this is the first new words for us, enthusiast, we'll underline it. And those from the industry have been debating, so we know ultimately we are learning grammar as well, we know when there is have been, we'll use the word debating, ing with the verb have been debating on the fashion capital of India, it's Delhi or Mumbai, a couturier, so we don't know the meaning of couturier, we'll underline this, is creating magic in a city that doesn't boast of, boast of, so we'll underline this, skyscrapers, so we'll underline this as well, not that the city is nondescript, we'll underline the word nondescript, its royal heritage has often served as a muse to 
so we'll underline this word so this is the name the designer who has had his base in jodhpur since the beginning and now besides the rich past the city is also known to house his design studios and workshop house his design studio so we need to look for the meaning of house so the word house has changed its meaning according to the sentence the city is also known to house his design studio and workshops so this word house has several meanings so based on this sentence its meaning is different from what we heard previously so just in one paragraph of newspaper articles especially the editorial page you have suddenly learned 10 to 12 words and you can imagine how many words you can learn if you read the whole page of any trends or any editorial page of any english newspaper so with one hour of reading you can easily learn 10 100 to 200 words in a day so this is how within 2 minutes we learned 10 words we'll google this we'll google the meaning of couturier or enthusiast boast of we'll google them we'll write the meanings here and then we'll stick this cutting on our pte notebook so this is how you can improve your general reading and this is very very important don't just directly go to fill in the blanks don't just try to learn fill in the blanks directly without improving your reading so that's why i have said there is no shortcut in pte reading you need to do this you need to just read and read the material you need to learn new words and you need to see how different words are used in different sentences so in 10 lines we we learned like 10 to 12 words so in uh, by reading one newspaper we can write we can learn hundreds of words next is collocations collocations are very very important in pte fill in the blanks collocation means how two words are used together in common language so in order to learn the collocation just go to this link and download it and then read five times before going for the actual exam again i'm repeating you need to download this collocations list and you need to read it five times don't try to memorize it because it's quite lengthy just read it five times before appearing for the actual exam and this is very 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 important this is important as well and the newspaper and general reading is very very important and it's more important as compared to just practicing the individual sections don't waste your time by practicing fill in the blanks online just don't waste your time by uh, enrolling in some online software for readings or for you know fill in the blanks just have a newspaper and try to improve your reading in general to get good marks next is grammar grammar is again very very important in reading pte reading especially fill in the blanks because if you know the grammar you can easily find out the words which will fit in particular blank so for example the boys are if you know grammar you can easily pick the word singing the boy plays or read the boys read read the boys have so if you know with have we use third form of word the boys have eaten so this is how you can pick even if you don't know the meaning of particular words especially in this case a monarchy is a form of government in which a group usually a family called the dynasty dash the country's national identity so how can you pick the word suppose you don't know the meaning of any of these embodies sovereignty impose encapsulated sovereignty you can't use the word sovereignty because it's grammatically wrong can you use the word encapsulated this is second form and here they are talking in present tense so we are left with two words embodies and impose so they said a family this is singular so the correct word will be embodies a family called the dynasty embodies so this is how even if you don't know the meaning of words you can easily pick correct word based on the grammar next is 
fill in the blanks. In this, a paragraph will be given to you with empty blanks and you have to choose from the words given to you. And writing marks are also awarded from this section of fill in the blanks. How do we solve this? The techniques include First of all, skim the whole paragraph and find out a general idea about topic. Just spend 5 to 10 seconds on this, not more than that. Next is read the sentence with blank in it and look at the option. Pick up the correct one straight away. If you know the answer, just pick up the word. And if you don't, start excluding the word based on grammar as well as vocabulary. If you know the meaning of those particular words and grammar, just start excluding the words and then choose from the remaining option. How can we do this? Let's, let's see one example. A charge often leveled against organic agriculture is that it's more philosophy than science. There is some truth to, to this indictment. If that is what it is, though why organic farmers should feel dash about it, we have general idea that here will feel some emotion. Farmers should feel happy, sad or uh, scared about it. It's itself a mystery, a relic perhaps of our fetishism of science as the only dash tool with which to approach nature. The philosophy of dash natural process precedes the science of understanding them. Just take a general idea and look for the option. Then let's read it again. A charge often leveled against organic agriculture is that there is something against it. It's more philosophy than science. There is some truth to this indictment. Now, first he said, it's organic agriculture is more, more philosophy than science. So now he's supporting this statement. There is some truth to this indictment. If that it is what it is. So if the organic agriculture is actually good, though why organic farmers should feel? So let's start with this. Supportive. Yes, this can be correct. Mimicking. No, exclude this. So should feel logic, again it's wrong. Should feel repeating, again it's wrong. Should feel credible, no. Should feel defensive, yes. So we are left with two words, supportive as well as defensive. So why organic farmers should feel supportive about it is itself a mystery. So does this make a sense? No. If the organic farmers should feel supportive, then it shouldn't be a mystery. So they must have felt defensive. Though why organic farmers should feel defensive about it, defensive about organic agriculture is itself a mystery, a relic perhaps of our fetishism of science as the only dash tool. Again, start excluding the words. Sportive tool, no. Mimicking tool, logic tool, repeating tool, credible tool, yes. This is correct, credible tool, defensive tool, no. So we are left with only one word, credible, with which to approach nature. The philosophy of dash natural processes, supportive natural processes, no. Mimicking natural process, yes, this can be correct. Logic natural process, wrong. Repeating natural process, yes, it can be grammatically correct. Credible natural, no. Defensive, no. So we are left with two words, mimicking and repeating, and these both are grammatically correct. But now let's know the meaning of these two words. First is repeating natural process. Can we repeat a natural process? Suppose it's raining. Can we repeat the raining? No, we can mimic it. We can mimic a natural process. We can't repeat it. If you know the meaning of mimicking and repeating, you can easily pick the correct word which is mimicking. So this is how we'll choose the blanks. But important thing is, after choosing the blanks, doesn't matter if they are right or wrong. What you need to do is know the meanings. Read this paragraph and just try to know the meaning of other words. For example, level, leveled, a charge often leveled. So leveled, how this word leveled is used in this sentence and what's the meaning of this? The charge often leveled against, what does that mean? So you need to look for it on the Google or on the dictionary. 
agriculture this is some truth this indictment what does this mean again you need to look for the meaning why should field be, is a mystery a relic what's a relic fetishism what is it of science as the only dash tool approach nature philosophy or natural process precedes what does that mean precedes the science of understanding thing so look for the meanings and then look for the meanings of other words as well what's sportive what's mimicking what's credible so this is how you will prepare for reading properly don't just fill the blanks and just leave it as it is next is this is the second example our program will develop your dash knowledge of computer science and problem solving and dash skills so there must be any skills while enabling you to achieve the dash qualification for it professional the program structure is extremely dash enabling you to personalize your msc through a wide range of electives so okay our program will develop your ultimate knowledge it is grammatically correct variable knowledge no analytical knowledge no there is no such thing as analytical knowledge again it's all about collocations flexible knowledge no theoretical knowledge yes that this can be correct considerable knowledge no decisive knowledge no so we are left with two words ultimate knowledge and theoretical knowledge so we don't know which one will be correct so we'll leave it as it is next is knowledge of computer science and your problem solving and dash skills ultimate skills no variable skills no analytical skills yes it can be correct flexible skills no theoretical skills no there is no such thing as theoretical skills uh, there must be practical skills considerable skills no decisive skills no so we are left with only one word that is analytical skills while enabling you to achieve the dash qualification ultimate qualification yes it can be correct variable no flexible qualification no there is no such thing as flexible qualification theoretical qualification no considerable qualification no decisive qualification no again we are left with only one word that is ultimate qualification so we will fill the ultimate here and in this blank we'll fill theoretical the program structure is extremely flexible we know it it must be flexible because if you have read so many academic articles and so many uh, you know brochures of any uh, study or any masters of science information technology such as you, if you have read previous articles related to this you can easily pick the word flexible if but if you don't just don't worry we'll again exclude the words extremely variable no again collocations extremely variables there is no such words these this we have used already flexible yes extremely considerable no again this is not wrong this is not right again extremely decisive if you know the meaning of these two words you can easily find out that these words cannot be picked cannot be filled in this blank so we are left with the word flexible so we require two things to choose the correct blank one is grammar second is vocabulary meaning of that particular word you need to know that next are drop down blanks drop down blanks are very difficult in pte so you need to choose the blanks from a drop down menu in which four to five words will be given and these drop down blanks are all about collocations so in these blanks the one word can be used differently in different form of sentences and the words given are merely synonyms they have similar meaning to each other and you need to find out the correct one and in this grammar matters a lot of you know the grammar matters a lot in this it's of a lot of importance in drop down blanks you need to know the grammar and it requires superior reading skills because they are very difficult and again it requires your reading skills and you can achieve those reading skills by reading newspapers editorial pages of newspapers and learning new words